This is NBC Palm Springs. If you're like so many around the world, you've been glued to the Eagle Cam in Big Bear, keeping track of Jackie and her two eggs. We have to thank Sandy Steers for having the idea to put a camera near the nest for the world to watch. It's good to have you back with us. Thank you. I tell you, we are so thrilled about this. How often are you watching the cam? Every day. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. The whole idea of getting this camera took an awful lot of work and, and a lot of governmental issues you had to overcome? Well, yeah, we, well, we're, the Forest Service, the U.S. Forest Service up there is actually our partner on this and helped us go through the process of getting the permits and everything like that. And I worked directly with their uh, forest biologist, Robin Eliasson. Were they on board from the from the get-go? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Robin and I really were teaming to do this. Yeah. Uh, so I guess the nest was there. That's how you got the idea to do this? Yes. Yeah, the nest was there. Uh, it, it actually, they first had a chick in 2012, and we think that was Jackie, who's on the nest now. And, um, uh, yeah, there's a whole long story. She's been busy. That. She's been busy. <laughs> but, but that was a nest about 50 feet from this one, and then the parents built this one. And they had um, three more sets of eggs, but only one chick survived of all that in that nest. And, um, you know, you were telling me, too, uh, you know, the, the father, um, the, the original partner, uh, left the nest and another one came along. And it's, it's a complicated family, it is. isn't it? <laughs> it is. Just like real life. Exactly. Yeah, people are calling it the soap opera. And everything. <laughs> yes. well, we're an educational environmental organization, so what we try to do is teach people uh, whether it's government agencies or the public or anybody about what's going on in nature and how we can protect it. And there's something special about the eagles, though. Well, Jackie, uh, that chick that was hatched in 2012 was the first chick ever hatched in Big Bear Valley in history, in recorded history. So that's kind of amazing. And then, um, and that was, that's the first nest, basically that's been there, so we're very excited about it. I started watching them through a scope from half a mile away. <laughs> You're kidding. No, and I stood out there half the winter the, when Jackie was being grow, growing up. Yeah, well, and what's interesting, we can now watch as winter came, and actually she was buried in the snow. She was. They have very um, good insulation in their feather system. And so she can be buried in the snow, and she doesn't get cold. She just shakes it off. <laughs> uh, but, uh, There's a lesson for all of us. Yes, huh? exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and, and so the rain, the snow, the sleet doesn't affect their attitude at all, does it? No, no. She's happy to just sit there on her eggs like she's supposed to do. But so that's a good point. How do they know that this is what they're supposed to do? I don't know exactly how they know, just instinct, basically. They know that, the, that they're supposed to sit on these eggs, and after they mate, all the hormones kick in and teach them what they're supposed to be doing. And, and so I'm fascinated during the day, because she does get up, she moves around, mm -hmm. but then sometimes she, she will leave for a little bit. She leaves, and usually if you listen, you can hear her call. Um, Shadow, her current mate, she will call out and tell him that she's leaving and then he'll answer and then she gets up and leaves and he comes in and takes over his turn. Um, as far as feeding, um, uh, this will come later once the eggs are hatched, yes. but who does that work of, of going out to get the food and bringing it back? Bo both of them do that, both the male and the female. Uh, sometimes the male does more, sometimes the male feeds the female while she's sitting on the eggs, but this this year Jackie's taking a lot more breaks. She must trust him because she's taking longer away from the nest, so she's getting her own food. But then when the, it gets close to the egg hatching time, they'll start bringing in food and kind of storing it around the nest. It was interesting. One time we were watching, and uh, it must have been Shadow that brought a fish back. Yes. Um, he was enjoying it, but didn't seem to offer it to Jackie at all. Yeah, he did. He tried that once. And from then on, <laughs> from then on, she let him know that that was not allowed. And so now he brings fish and sets it by her, and really? that's that. Yeah. They really have a good way of communicating they too. Do, yes. Yeah. If if people want to participate in having a partnership with the uh, with the Eagles. Yeah, they can go to our website, friendsofbigbearvalley.org 
and they can either become a member or they can just donate whatever they like to do. They can buy Eagle t-shirts. <laughs> oh, you've got t-shirts too? Uh, yeah, from oh. last year. Okay, great. Well, there'll probably be another one, a family portrait. There will, yes. Okay. And then um, before I let you go, once they are hatched, how long will they stay, the, the, the babies, stay in the nest before they uh, are set free? Uh, from 10 to 14 weeks. Oh, and, that long? Yeah, they and then uh, they're full, actually full grown when they fledge because birds can't fly until they're full grown. Really? The, yeah, their feathers don't hold them right. Okay. And so they have to be full grown. And so when they are full grown, it takes 10 to 14 weeks, which is really fast. That is fast. Mm -hmm. All right, fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we Thank appreciate it. The world thanks us. you too. All right, all right. We'll take a break and we'll be right back.